Okay. Um, good morning, afternoon, or evening, everybody, and welcome to the IPFS Docs and Developer User Experience Working Group. This is our weekly meeting. Um, you can follow along in the notes, um, which are available. All the information about this meeting is available um, either if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact in the YouTube video information, or you can visit the docs repo at github.com slash IPFS slash docs for more information. This meeting is led according to uh, reporting our progress on our OKRs. So we're going to go ahead and walk through one by one those OKRs as they appear in the notes document. Everybody in the call, you're in the notes document. Cool, right? Yeah? Good? All right. We are missing some folks this week due to um, a number of things. Um, we have American Thanksgiving this week, and as such, um, our internal huddle on Thursday, um, I propose that we cancel that and we see everybody here in this space on Monday. Awesome. Um, I am on vacation on Monday, but I will, I will make this meeting um, anyway. So um, additionally, we did, um, looking through these notes, please keep in mind that um, it looks like we didn't get a whole lot done. And we didn't get a whole lot done because um, a, a few of us had the chance to gather in person um, and get some user testing done over the last week, which was splendid, but that does require travel time. And so it does look as though we've been moving a little bit more slowly than usual. Um, I ask everybody on this call to please add themselves as a participant. And um, I can go ahead as we do that and continue to um, walk through our agenda. Obviously, the biggest recurring item on our agenda is the Docs beta launch. Um, we got a lot done in the last week with user testing. That is fantastic. Um, I will not lie, we are considerably behind on our ability to ship by the end of the year, and we're going to have to scramble really hard to be able to do that. Um, you know, while the biggest blocker to that is um, addressing the IPFS hosting issue, which um, Chris is very, that is his primary responsibility um, over the next three weeks. Uh, we do have a large number of issues that are still outstanding. Um, if you click on the link for Epic 1A, you'll see what those are. You know, we don't have to achieve all of those, but um, in order to actually launch effectively, we're going to have to add the no content here stubs. I'll link to all these issues. I, I didn't have time to do that yet, but I'll link to all the issues in the notes. Uh, the no content here stubs need to be fixed. Uh, the back and forth linking between the legacy site and the beta site is going to need to be implemented. Um, I am responsible for a socialization and communications plan. Uh, we need to implement the is this helpful mechanism on the beta site that exists on the legacy site. And we'll need to offer people a way to get to the features voting in at least a bare bones way. I know we had intended to eventually integrate that more um, firmly using Canny. But um, you know that that really doesn't seem probable at this point. So we need to figure out another way to actually get that implemented in a way that folks can see. Um, that to me, with a quick look through our issue queue, is sort of like the minimum of things that we're going to have to get done in the next um, three weeks. Keeping in mind that the quarter closes early due to winter holidays. Um, yeah. So I mean, quite frankly, we're going to have to scramble really, really hard. Um, and Let's keep talking um, amongst ourselves outside the confines of this meeting, certainly when Chris is off his travel, about a way to get this done in time. Um, so, you know, not to, not to put the fear of God in, in anyone other than myself, but um, just trying to be extremely realistic about that. And if we want to ship this um, by the end of the year, we got a lot to do. So, um, carrying on, a uh, recurring item, legacy docs deprecation plan, we're, we're continuing to work along this as we go along, um, that lives in 308. Um, as you think of things, please continue to add them to 308, and we'll, we'll call it this as we go along. Um, metrics definition and collection for beta site, um, that was on hold until Johnny got onboarded. Um, now that he is, and now that we're all, once we're all back from our travels, um, you know, I want to check in with Chris and with Johnny on, on getting that started. Um, recurring item in Epic 2B, the beta site is this helpful feedback mechanism. As is before, this is ready to ship, um, ready to implement, um, and we just need to get that implemented. Usability testing. Uh, we did great usability testing. I don't know, Eric, if you want to, do you want to go into more detail about that since otherwise I'm going to be doing all the talking here? Uh, yeah, sure. We we um, we did a share of our uh, work in progress view press view press um, built 
doc's website and it reflect a, reflected a lot of you know a lot of backs and forths and previous testing with ipfs uh users like uh yourselves our viewers and uh evolution in significant parts um significantly the the uh the navigation is a little overwhelming in our current doc site and we've tried to distill that down into you know really uh much better organized, much uh, easier to, to rock collection of, of information. And we, we brought the results of all those, uh, distilled them into um, what we think is, what we thought was a pretty close to ready for prime time, kind of uh, good enough to, for people to uh, click on, around in a uh, state uh, to uh, we put that in front of a lot of our colleagues synchronously uh, and and it was a little bit different than the the traditional usability testing motif where okay here's here's me here's you and here's someone taking notes and you know very clinical uh and and very scripted uh, but you know serendipity can really take over sometimes in in the uh, in a group environment particularly when we have uh you know this rare opportunity to to interact among expert you know with experts in this specific um product and so yeah we we got really good feedback and notes i will shout out huge to jessica who not only uh was is always engaged in in guiding the discussion but also took amazing notes as well as uh, chris Waring, i believe and yeah uh, johnny took a lot of really great notes too steps. i seem to have lost the notes that johnny and chris took so Eric, if you got those, let me know. I'm I'm trying to ping them, but I know they're both on the road. Yeah, let me let me uh, search from now. But uh, you know, long story short, translating those into um, probably distilling them into an issue. Yeah, and we'll need to put that. Yeah, we'll need to put that in issue. checkbox form. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Um, Features voting. Um, this is the same, page, same same stage as before. We've got the public facing voting page. Um, we had thought about doing some deeper canning integration pre-beta to launch. That's probably looking to be a little bit optimistic. Um, but the fact is, it's it's keyed up and ready to go at least on a standalone page, which is awesome. Um, ecosystem audit. Sorry, I threw that in there. Um, we did make, and for the purposes of this call, as we did our mid-quarter evaluation. Um, we did remove that ecosystem audit from our OKRs for this quarter. Um, the intent is to hopefully wake that up um, in Q1, uh, but watch that space. Um, and I welcome any feedback from anybody who may have um, any thoughts on that. Like, but it was a, an issue in prioritization and as a priority to a P2 issue. Um, you know, unfortunately, it's one of the things that we're going to have to push. Um, Recurring item, content improvement, user-driven or legacy. Uh, we closed five issues since our last meeting two weeks ago. Um, it has been slow because of travel and in-person um, discussion time and user testing. Uh, expect a bit of the return to the normal cadence next time. However, um, we're gonna have to scramble hard on launch before the end of the year. So that is a blocker to getting the content improvement issues done um, and a, a, a noble blocker as it is. So um, do expect sort of a slower pace than usual between now and the end of the year. Um, Johnny's content close reading audit. He took a stab at this um, last week. I have seen the beginnings of his report, but um, he still needs to capture that in the issue. I'm going to see if I can't get a hold of him and, and see if maybe that can get done this week so that we can all benefit from his recommendations. Um, and then protoschool updates, Terry and Jill. Yeah, you like how if we leave Jill to keep working for a week while the rest of us get distracted, things actually keep happening. So <laughs> um, yeah, although I noticed that we've been away for a couple of weeks, so we have a lot of updates uh, as a result of that. So Jill finished up the, the regular files API tutorial, which is amazing. Uh, it's really awesome to have some new content out the door. And He's also been starting to take a look at other like alternative platforms just in case there's something out there that would support what we're doing that's already kind of fully featured and customizable enough to work. We're just trying to cross that one off the list before we keep adding features to the current site. So Jill's deep in that. If anyone has ideas on platforms that might work that way, please add them to the issue that you see listed there. 
And then we've done a lot on the front of um, applying IPFS camp content to Proto School. And um, Johnny will take some of these same things that we caught later and see where they'll fit well in the documentation. But things we've done include um, adding core course A, which is the understanding how IPFS works with files to a lot of the resources pages across the site. Um, I also incorporated the CID inspector that Alan built and introduced at IPFS camp. So now if the results of the, the code challenge is a CID, in addition to the view in IPLD Explorer, you now have a view in CID inspector button that you can use. Um, and then we've also been going through um, the various courses. So just looking at the elective ones, a couple of the core ones we've already looked at, but we're still just cranking through the list, trying to jot down all of the ideas we have for applying content. So this issue 261, if anyone has ideas, um, please feel free. That's open for anyone to add those ideas to. And then once we get that collected, we'll go back and start knocking off some more of those. Um, so we're part way on collecting ideas. We're part way on making the plan and we're part way on executing on the plan. We're just kind of doing them side by side at the moment. So that's, I think that's the bulk of what we have. Anything I missed, Joe? No, I think that's it. Cool. All right. Um, this is a quick meeting, I think, you know, we're all sort of catching up. Um, and we've also got, um, and we've also got, um, and we've all, sorry, I just dropped something. And we've also got to um, prioritize. Um, uh, so, so this is a quick meeting because we're all we, we're all recovering from travel and, and so on and so forth. We've also got American Thanksgiving to deal with, um, but um, we've got sort of three more weeks. Um, I propose that we have a second meeting, uh, a longer meeting on this, like maybe um, next Tuesday to really take a hard look at the launch um, schedule and uh, where we're gonna be for that and actually prioritize and triage those and um, figure out exactly what each of us is gonna be spending the next three weeks of our work on. Um, so I will get that on everybody's books. Do, do people have thoughts on that? I mean, I hate to be a drag, but um, do, people have, do people have thoughts on that? Because we are entering our crunch time and I wanna make sure that we do this in like the most positive and proactive way. I'm fine with chatting on that. I may be out next Monday, but I'll be okay. back for two. Yeah, I have a feeling a couple of us are in travel for American Thanksgiving on Monday. So I would suggest that we have that meeting maybe next Tuesday. Um, and we'll groom, we'll groom the board and we'll prioritize every single piece of it. In the meantime, I do ask that um, that it, we we do have a lot of catch up to do and that before those of us who are um, leaving for the holidays mm -hmm. over over this week, um, let's please make sure that we communicate very clearly everything that we're working on, capture everything in issues. Um, you know, we were, we've been scrambling so much the last fortnight that a lot of things didn't get captured in GitHub. Um, and as a lot of us are sort of dispersing and coming back together as things get chaotic for the end of your holidays, it's more important than ever that we keep things captured in the issues themselves. Um, so I'm, I'm going to actually go ahead and uh, pause the recording. I have a couple of administrative issues that we should probably chat through after that, but does anybody else have anything that we want to add to the recording before we capture this for eternity? Johnny, do you have uh, a link to those uh, uh, notes from our user usability testing session? Uh, notes, I do, just locally on my computer. Um, sorry, I joined later. Oh, by the way, everyone, I didn't have the event in my calendar, so I thought it got canceled. And then Eric was like, yo, where are you? Um, no, <laughs> I will upload those to HackMD or whatever service we've got. Okay. Um, and then we can, they're all the very sort of, the very verbatim. So all the notes that I have are just pretty much word for word what people were saying. I've not kind of categorized everything, but maybe we can all read through and kind of like figure out the main points that we got from the testing. Okay, I just sent you a link to the notes that exist so far. If you can add them to that one, that would be awesome. Perfect, yeah, I'll do that now then. Great, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording. Thank you to everybody out there in the internet world who may be, um, who may be listening or watching after the fact. We shall see you same bat time, same bat channel next week. Thank you very much.